push notifications. What, what, what's this? So now your computer is going to be telling your tablet and your phone what's going on. Is that what's happening, basically? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. So hmm. uh, we've been working on incorporating some really awesome functionality for AI Suite 3 this generation. And one of the big things is the introduction of push notice. So with push notice, um, you're going to have the ability, like you noted, essentially have the system be able to dialogue with your smartphone or your, uh, your tablet in an intranet or an extranet based environment. So this is not limited to just your local area network. So as long as your mobile device can be connected to uh, either a cellular or Wi-Fi connection out of your home environment, you'll still be able to, be able to receive these notifications. Uh, the only thing that will be dependent in that environment will you will have to sign into an ACS account to be able to link that all uh, essentially together, but you will be able to have essentially this remote notification. So we're just going to show you guys a quick example of this so you can see kind of a little bit what the UI looks like, as well as some of the other uh, items that can be notified, and uh, we'll go through with it. Awesome. All right, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump into AI Suite 3. All right. And we're just going to click on this guy, and you can see right here we've got a little tab that says Push Notice. So we're going to go ahead and click onto it. Uh, now, we've already got it in the on position, but you can turn this off if you don't want to have it on for any reason. So you can turn it on or off. And from there, you're going to see you're going to have PC mode alerts, PC status alerts, or message. So with PC mode alerts, essentially, you can go ahead and click on any one of these three options to be notified, essentially, if your system was to restart, whether it was to shut down, or whether it was uh, to sleep, as well as you can go ahead and define your own custom messages. So you can go ahead and just, you know, click into those boxes, and if you want to go ahead and type something in, you can go ahead and do that. So whatever, like, hey, man. How are you doing? System Your computer started. went to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it might be. Now you can see right here, um, we have the actual notification of the device that we have currently linked into uh, the AI Suite 3. So you can see here, it's this uh, Asus Nexus 7 right here. So we've got that set up right there. How would you link that? It's pretty easy to do, I imagine. Yeah, so uh, when you first initially go ahead and install the application, it is Android compatible as well as iOS compatible in terms of the app. Mm -hmm. So uh, either, either devices are, are entirely okay. Once you go ahead and install that, you do first initially need to be on the same local area network. And then from there, you're just going to go into the app, and the app will ask you, okay, scan for computers and so it'll scan for any computers that you have on your network and it'll register hey that system and once you click enable then it'll pop up there and you enable it and you're good to go right, so it just does it right through land. That's nice. yeah yeah so it's a it's a very simple process so here you can go to pc status alerts which is i think where you guys are going to be more interested in so you can see we can go ahead and send notification in relation to voltages temperatures or fans so uh, if there's an anomaly with these and essentially they go ahead and have a trigger point issue, then you can go ahead and be acknowledged of that, as well as we can go ahead and be notified for when they come back into the norm. So I've gone ahead and enabled that, and uh, we're going to show you a quick demonstration of this so you can see how it works. And uh, before we jump into that, of course, you can see the last one is just a general message. It's almost like a text message kind of function so that if you want to, for whatever reason, send a message to somebody on that device and you wanted to, you could do that as well. So, so, so hold on, let me get this right. So if... You're sending it out at home and someone else has the device, right? Yes. You, you could just type to them straight. Yeah, you could just message them. All right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, right here, so we got PC status alerts, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. I've already got the app essentially open, and we're going to see a notification. So I'm just going to go ahead and hand that over to you. All right. And you can be the eyes and ears of our viewers. And I'm your eyes and ears. And uh, Hold the portrait so it'll, cover, it'll match up with the... Right, okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and physically stop the fans on our system, okay? Okay. All right, so it's going to take a moment here to, of course, tra transverse uh, all the uh, the wireless airways that we've got here, but you're going to see the notification shortly. It's going to say, JJ is trying to destroy your system. Warning. <laughs> and I'm going to have to get up from the bar where I'm hanging out with my yeah. friends and run home and leave them all there hanging. And so I think you can see it right there in the top corner. If you want to go ahead and pull the notification Push down. Notification. Oh, CPU fan. Okay, so you can. Oh see. no. And we're just gonna go ahead and allow it to resume. Yeah, I gotta go. There we go. Let those rotate, and then we're gonna receive an additional message to allow you to see. Uh, and so you can see right there. Zero message. RPM. And then the message comes back in, also re-notifying <laughs> you that the fans have gone ahead and kicked back on, and that they're working correctly. And so, yeah. like I said, you can go ahead and receive this information for, as I said, fan speeds or for voltages, and you can allow them to see kind of a little bit of what it looks like there, and we'll give you guys a closer shot of it as well. You know, uh, you gave me an idea. Yes. I'm gonna get this for all my friends, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna make him a nervous wreck, like our editor and stuff. Whenever, whenever he like, goes to the coffee shop, I'll just reach in there and stop his fans. Stop his fans. 
<laughs> that would be a own. little that would be a little bit of a cruel joke. Um, but one Total really one really cool function that we also have uh, for this generation as part of our NFC and Wi-Fi Go suite that also comes included with the board is you'll have also the ability to do full remote desktop. So both in an intranet and an extra ba extra net based environment. So in the event that maybe you got one of these notifications and you wanted maybe sh uh, shut down your system, you could also remote into the desktop and also shut down the computer oh, that's as really well. Handy. So we complement both things. We're giving you the notification capability as well as the remote desktop capability to be able to go ahead and uh, be able to do something at that point if you feel that you want to be able to go ahead and shut down your system. Oh, that's cool. I was worried that I would just have to run home, you know, like, <laughs> so I could just turn it off. And then yes, be done with it. you could go ahead and remote in, shut down your system, and you'd be good to go. So overall, that gives you guys a little bit of a preview of some the new functionality we have uh, that's available within the uh, Wi-Fi Go suite uh, as well as in AI Suite 3 with Push Notice. If you guys have any questions about Push Notice or, you know, if you just want to post a comment or whatever, JJ reads a lot of these comments, especially on our website. Yes. So just go and click on the link um, just, you know, right underneath the video and then I'll take you over to our website. And then if you guys are curious about all the other exclusive um, technologies from Asus that, you know, they have for the Z97 line, just go ahead and click on the, the screen. There's like a little thing here that says more Asus videos. So you should click on it and then it'll show you more Asus videos. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video.